Hey folks, John Ferguson Smart here. A lot of people have been asking me, how can we use AI, ChatGPT, and all of these new AI tools to help us with our test automation? And that's the question I'm going to be answering today. So what I'm going to be showing you is how to write some API tests using AI technology. That is a lot of AIs and A's, isn't it? But anyway, what we're going to be doing is looking at a real example of a real publicly available API from the London Transport site, the TFL website. It has a public API that you can play around with. And we're going to be using it to write some API tests using Rest Assured and Serenity BDD. And also, I'm going to be showing you how we can use GitHub Copilot to make this process a lot simpler, a lot smoother, and a lot more fun. So GitHub Copilot is a commercial tool. You do have to pay for it. Uh, I have a uh, I have a free version because I have run an open source project, and open source projects can have a free version. Uh, but normally you do have to pay for it. But it is definitely worth the investment. It does definitely speed up your coding. And today, hopefully, I'm going to show you how. So let's get stuck into it. This is a website, the API that we'll be testing. It's the tflgov.uk website that you can go to and have a play around with yourself. And on this site, we have a lot of endpoints that you can use. There's air quality, there's taxi stands, there's uh, tubes, trips, there's all sorts of stuff. And we're going to be looking at something relatively simple. We're going to use, look at the APIs that let us retrieve bike locations. So in London, you can, uh, you can access free bike locations, bike stands, bike docks. And so this API <clears throat> will tell us where they are and give us information about them. We can find specific bike points, we can search for bike points by name, or we can retrieve the whole list of them. So we're going to be writing some tests for this, for this API. So let's switch to our code and see what we want to do. So in IntelliJ, uh, what I've got here is a very, well, an empty test. And what I'm going to do is try and define some tests for this endpoint. Uh, I'm going to start by telling uh, GitHub Copilot, which I have installed, what, what exactly I'm trying to do. So I'm going to say, first of all, I'm going to uh, describe what this test is doing. So test the TF. Now, it might be cheating a little bit because GitHub Copilot uses ChatGPT, which knows about the TFL website because it's got an autocomplete. It's giving me the actual address, uh, which is quite cool. Uh, so I'm going, that's a good start. It gives us a little bit of context. Now I'm going to extend this with the Serenity JUnit uh, extension. And now we're going to write some tests. We're going to first of all, describe the test we want to do. And the way I do this is write a comment. So I say return all the known bike points in London and we'll see what it produces. And it's saying should return all bike points, which is a reasonable name for, for our test. We can definitely use that as a starting point. I do want it to be a test though. So we're going to annotate it with test. And now let's write our test. Now, the first thing that I want to do here is I, I want to actually convert these to objects and get some objects. So what I would really like is to retrieve a list of bike point objects. So imagine we're actually creating this uh, application for ourselves. We want to have this concept of a bike point. Now the bike point doesn't exist yet. So I want to create one. So let's create a record and put it in uh, source main. Might need to move that around a little bit. source main and we're going to create a bike book. Now I'm going to tell 
GitHub Copilot what this bike point is. Uh, so it is a bike um, bike point from the TFL API. And now what do I want to have included? Now it's already proposing some things. Uh, API ID, common name, place type. There are additional properties, children, and so forth. So I can sort of pick and choose the ones I'd like. Uh, so if we go back to our actual uh, site, we can try this and we can see what it comes back with. So the sample response, uh, we'll see what it displays. Taking a bit of time, but we can already see here what the structure is. You get an ID, a URL, a common name, a place type, uh, and we get some additional properties, uh, which we're not going to worry about too much. What I'm really interested in is the ID, common name, and place type. So we can skip all of this other stuff. And that can be our API, our, uh, our object. Let's see, oh, there are two other things we might want to include, the latitude and the longitude. So let's add latitude and longitude. Uh, float lat, float long. It's figured out that it wants both a float lat and a float long. I'm not worried about the URL at this stage. Back in our code, let's now write the actual test. So it's interesting, it's actually proposing to write a bike point API class, which would be generally the sort of thing I'd do. I would create an API class, a service class that would actually interact with the API on our behalf. But for this particular demo, this tutorial, I want to show you rest assured directly. Uh, so we're not going to do that. We're going to go straight into rest assured and we're going to see if uh, GitHub Copilot knows anything about rest assured. So I could start off with a rest assured given and GitHub Copilot is proposing that we use a base URL of the uh, TFL site, which is what we can see up here, the base path of bike point, which is the bike point here. It's the correct bike point endpoint. When get, then uh, where well, we could do it this way, then status code 200, then extract JSON path and get as a list the bike point classes. So that looks like a good start. Let's see if it works. So the first thing I would then want to do is assert that bike points has size. Now, it's, now I, uh, I'm familiar with this API. I know that it's not uh, quite, that's, not quite correct. Uh, we don't, it's imported, my bad, it's imported the wrong matcher. I want, this is an assert J matcher, so I think I got that wrong. Assertion, yes, it's not, IntelliJ is not picking up the right assertions for some reason. Uh, so I'm going to have to import that by hand just because I want an assert J. So, uh, assert J. And the assert J library is uh, org assert J and it's a static import, of course. Normally you don't need to do that, but IntelliJ seems to be playing up a little bit. And now, let's see, it won't be 1000. It's actually some other number. Uh, so to be more precise, we could say is not empty, but we could also say something like this, all Actually, you know what, let's let IntelliJ and GitHub Pilot uh, do it for us. Check that each bike point, yeah, that'll do, point has a non-empty common name. Let's see what it proposes. So now it's saying assert that bike points all match bike point and by not bike point common name is empty. It's almost got it right. So we just need to actually use the record method common name is empty. So let's double that together. Uh, so we say is empty, uh, is not empty and all match. So that will be our assertion. 
and it's complaining about the uh, the spelling there. So assert that bike points is not empty and all match uh, the bike point comma name is not empty. Let's now run this uh, and see what happens. And now here we get an error. This is a common trap that you'll be familiar with if you've worked with uh, uh, Rest Assured or even Jackson uh, in general, what we're getting is an unrecognized field because our object that we're turning, our record, is only a subset. And to get around that problem, what I need to do is use the JSON ignore properties annotation and set ignore unknown to true because that will only import the parameters that I'm interested in. So if I run this again, and so now we have our passing test. Now, if we wanted to make our test reports a little bit more readable, we could turn this into a Serenity REST test by simply replacing REST Assured with Serenity REST. And now when we run this test in our reports, we're going to see the, uh, the documented output of the, uh, the REST query. So let's have a look at what that generates. So that will have generated an HTML file with the uh, report, which we can have a look at here. So we can see here it's documented that it's done a get, and we can open that out and see the actual details of the query. So that's actually what Serenity brings to the table. Let's try another test. One other test that we can do is search by name. So we can call the uh, bikepod endpoint pass in a query parameter and search by name. Now I've run this query here where we can see the results. So we've got bike point search query equals Kensington and it comes up with the list of all the bike points that uh, in that contain the word Kensington. So let's see if we can write a test to, to demonstrate that. And what we want to check is that all the common names that we get back <coughs> contain the word Kensington. So we'll go back to our code and we're going to uh, so check that we can search by name and all of the resulting by points contain the search terms. And we're going to do a test for that. Uh, should search by uh, name. Let's make this a little bit bigger so we can see what it's proposing. And it's proposing, okay, so it proposes Baker Street, any term will do. Uh, and let's see what it's come up with. So the base point is bike point. That's not quite right. The actual, we need to know what we're testing, obviously. The real base point is bike point slash search. Uh, so we're going to need to correct that search. The query parameter is the search term when get in the status code and we get the list back and we assert that the bike points is not empty and all match the common bike point, common name, search term. You can see it's following the same sort of approach that we we set up. We gave it the hint that this is what we want to do to check our outcomes. It's doing the same sort of thing. So now I can run this. So I'm searching by Baker Street, not Kensington. I'm happy with that. Uh, and that works. So that's an example. Once we start seeding the, the test, what we give uh, GitHub Copilot some examples of what we want, we can really get a lot of code written with a minimum amount of effort. Uh, now, obviously, we might want to tweak this. This is a little bit wordy to my taste. So I would probably do this in half the number of lines of code, but that's not really that important. This is correct rest assured code and Serenity REST code. Notice even it's, it's also used Serenity REST rather than rest assured. It's basing its code on what we've already done to be consistent. So that's just a little demo of 
uh, how we can use GitHub Copilot for REST Assured tests. Uh, I will be doing other demos of how we can work with GitHub Copilot and other things we can do and uh, how we can just use AI to speed up our, uh, our test automation process. So make sure you subscribe to the channel and stay tuned. So there will be a lot more fun stuff in this area.